Hey guys, my name is Elena, I'm a graphic designer and welcome to my graphic design channel. And today I'm going to show you how to create a seamless pattern. You can see those patterns at home on your wallpapers or on a plate when you have a dinner or on your socks, I think it's pretty cute, or on pillows when you get rest. And if you're interested how to create this seamless pattern, then keep watching. This is our workspace and those are our colors. And if you want to download an original AI file with colors and a pattern and take a closer look at the design, then go to my Patreon. The link will be below this video. And now let's start the tutorial. Ok guys, the colors are already in my swatches panel. Let's select the green color and let's take ellipse tool. Hold shift and make the circle. Now hold odd and make the copy. Now let's move the ellipses and we need to cut the intersection place. Go to Pathfinder and intersect. Ok. Now let's move here. Now we need to select brown color in the stroke and select brush tool. And here select that one and draw here the line like this. Ok. Now let's move the line to the center of the leaf. And now select again brush tool and draw here some lines. Like on the real leaf. Ok, that's great. Now select direct selection tool and move this point a little to the right to, uh, to make more realistic view. Now let's make the lines fatter. Select magic wand tool and select the brown color. And here we need to write 1.5. I think it's better. Move here. Now let's create the second leaf. Select that color. And we need to take... No brush tool and let's draw the shape of the leaf just like this, just with help of your hand. This way. I think it's pretty good. We need that color in the fill and let's make the leaf wider and thinner. Ok, now again in the stroke they need a brown color and the same brush and let's draw here the first line and let's check here must be 1.5 and let's draw the lines here this way. Ok. Now let's uh, select the whole leaf and make it smaller. Like this. Yes, I think it's great. And now let's create a rowan berry. Just select the same brush and the same color and draw here the lines like the lines on real rowan berry and the size of the line as well 1.5 and just draw the help of brush to a rowan berry. Ok. Not bad. 
let's move this line let's look closer and let's move this line like this it's more pretty okay now let's select the red color and so, uh, take ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse we need red color in the fill. With help of eyedropper tool, select that line and select the egg and brush tool and draw here just three simple lines to add more realistic view our berry. Now let's select all three lines here 1.5. Let's make them smaller. Select and move here. Okay, now let's select a light red color and take ellipse tool and draw here two ellipses. It will be our highlights. Okay, now select a berry and go object, expand appearance. Now let's make these highlights a little bigger okay now again select the berry and group it okay and now let's copy and paste it and move here now we need to change color the direct selection tool select red color and select orange color and now select highlights and light yellow color and now you can can add some details and of course copy and paste berries to create our rowan berry okay the berries are ready and now let's create a mushroom select that color and rectangle tool and draw the rectangle like that now select that color and take ellipse tool and draw here the ellipse like this now again select rectangle tool and draw here the rectangle we need to cut off a half of these ellipse select both shapes and pathfinder intersect now dark selection tool select these two points and hold hold and drag them to round corners make this shape a little bigger move here now select the rectangle again direct selection tool and hold and drag to round corners now select both shapes and align them select now this shape and go to effect warp and fish here we need vertical and minus 21 OK, Object, Expand Appearance. Great. And uh, now select dark color, this one, and uh, take Ellipse tool and draw here some ellipses. It's just my design vis uh, vision. OK and now let's uh, select that color and uh, in the stroke brush tool and now let's take let's draw here two lines select them both and let's select for example uh, that brush but if you think it's too fat let's select again these two lines and here let's write 0 0.7 i think now it's better now we need to select these two shapes copy and paste them and go to pathfinder unite and now here 
we need uh, this color in the stroke and that brush and here 1.5 okay and just move here great um, now we need to expand appearance for all our shapes here and group them so here object expand appearance group select object expand appearance group select object expand appearance group okay now let's create the pattern you can move details as you like you can make them bigger smaller you can rotate them well you need to create the pattern you'd like the most okay it's ready now you need to move these parts down and these parts to the right side select these parts and right click transform move and here horizontal you need to write the width of your artboard and vertical zero copy okay now you need to move details on the top select them all transform move and here zero and here height of your artboard 1000 copy now if you like you can move uh, the objects of your pattern to make the pattern more better but you shouldn't move objects what were moved you can move only object objects in the center like this now if you like a pattern you need to create a background a background size must be like a size of your artboard select take rectangle tool and create a rectangle 1000 to 1000 okay now we need to select that color in the fill for our background and now we need to align our rectangle and our artboard select rectangle now go to align panel here select align to artboard and now horizontal and vertical okay send it back great and one more guys if you want to have ability to edit this pattern on that step you need to save these details and background in a new document just go to file and save in a new document and if you don't want to save it just let's continue and let's create a seamless pattern now we need to select a background and copy and paste it and move to front now ctrl a and select the whole design and go to pathfinder crop okay the pattern is ready now take a pattern move it and drop it here okay now the pattern in our swatches panel select it and now let's create the rectangle like our artboard 1000 to 1000 okay and now let's hold alt and make the copy okay and now let's select both and make the copy and now you see our pattern is completely seamless and now for example if you want to resize the details you can select for example all rectangles 
and right click transform scale and here you need unselect objects and select only patterns and here for example 60 preview you see the scale is changed okay as well you can use this pattern with different shapes for example let's select uh, let's delete these squares and now let's select again rectangle tool and you can draw the rectangle as you like the rectangle the ellipse the star or other any shape and use this pattern with this but it's already will be not a seamless pattern it will be a repeat pattern you can as well change the scale or if you want to change the size of your rectangle you need again to select uh, the mm, pattern and again to change uh, the scale okay it's pretty easy and for today the tutorial is over hope you like it if yes give me a like and subscribe and hope you will create your own seamless pattern well guys see you in the next tutorials in adobe illustrator or in the next videos in a graphic design bye bye guys Mwah.